Of course, report cards are just one part of the job action by teachers. There are other areas being impacted as well. Dana Hutchings has more on that part of the story in tonight's Checkpoint. Stacey, from administrative duties, including filling out forms, to playground supervision, there are many areas that are feeling the impact of teacher job action. And one in particular is field trips. It's a rare and unusual sight for staff at the Shaw Ocean Discovery Centre. We don't see it uh, for days and days at a time, and gradually it's getting bolder and bolder. This is a baby octopus. We've been talking lately about a baby boom here at the centre. We've got babies all over the place, so the baby octopus and the uh, baby pipefish and baby grunt sculpins and all sorts of things. It's the fact that school classes are missing out on this underwater baby boom that upsets the executive director. We do about 7,000 school kids a year here at the centre as part of our, edu our education program. And if this was your year in grade three, you're going to miss it because field trips, by and large, are not being done. And school trips to the centre are down 80% this year. It's the busiest time of year at Goldstream Provincial Park, but... We're not booked solid um, like we usually are. Eagle! Well, it's difficult to know the full impact of the teacher's job action here. March, in the spring, April, they start to we go out of the gravel. Naturalists say some teachers are ensuring educational opportunities outside of the classroom aren't being missed. The teachers have uh, gone above and beyond, if you will, because they've uh, phoned us and are uh, booking these programs in their own time. We do provide these programs at a, a bit of a cost, and some of the teachers have been uh, paying out of their own pocket. In a digital age, it's that hands-on learning Angus Matthews sees as so important for children. We really feel that these hands-on, hands-wet learning, as we call it, these are the triggers for really brilliant educational opportunities. While teachers' job action remains under the microscope, Matthews hopes more parents will speak up so that students don't continue to lose out on education beyond the classroom. And our checkpoint question tonight, is the teacher's job action having an impact on you or your children? Of course, you can tweet us at check underscore news on Facebook at facebook.com slash check news or email checkpoint at checknews.ca. And that's the same question in our checkpoint web poll. You can vote by going to our website, checknews.ca. And one more note about field trips. The Royal BC Museum actually saw an increase of school field trips in September, but its October numbers are down as well. Stacey, well, it is it a full-blown strike. From discussions on the web, it seems parents and students are feeling the impact of the teacher's job action. Our checkpoint question tonight, is the teacher's job action having an impact on you or your children? Here's what some of you had to say. Class sizes are kind of a big deal, so it's good that they're taking care of the situation. At the same time, those students are missing out on important parts of their education because teachers are boycotting extracurricular activities. So a lot of students, if they do go ahead with that, are going to miss out on a lot of learning opportunities that happen outside of the classroom. As a teacher, uh, I'm not teaching in the school system because I, I can't handle the large class sizes. I think it's very unfair. We do have a son in high school, but it's no way has affected me yet or our family. And I think it's important that we have education. If should be teach, we should uh, pay our teachers well. No, not at all. I just have a cat and he's homeschooled. <laughs> From Facebook, Natalie says, yes, it is affecting my child's learning, but the teachers are doing their best with what they're given. Ron says, no report cards, but still having professional development days. I don't get it. There are jobs that don't pay you if you don't do it. What's going on here? And Jeannie says, yes, the winter concert performances will be only during the afternoon. I work full time and won't be able to see my children performing. And response to the question on our Czech News website, 65% said yes, it is having an impact, while almost 35% said no. And a quick update, the teacher, BC Teachers Federation says there is no progress after another round of bargaining. That said, teachers have no plans to step up job action, at least for now. That's tonight's Checkpoint.